Good day everyone, my name is Maria Kongelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. My today's guest is a multi-talented Polish singer, Sasha Stronin. Sasha, thank you for being with us. And thank you for having me. Her recent album, Self Portraits, was nominated to Korefeusz Polish Prize in a category of a discovery of a year. But before we dig up more of her secrets, let's listen to one of her songs. Sasha, the autoport self-portraits is not your first jazz album. You made one previously, Woman in Black, which actually is the story of your life. And you needed to, as I understand, learn a way of singing jazz in order to to record this to record this CD. How it all looked like. Yeah, it was it was uh, quite um quite a challenge for me, but actually um, I'm all the time being in, the, like there's this process all the time. So I wouldn't call my first album that I made with Gary Gutman in the jazz album. It was kind of a more as a swing, uh, swingish jazz uh, blues album. So actually it had elements of that. Um, so yeah, I've worked a lot and I kind of felt, because I, I grew up in an opera singer family and I was singing pop music, like basically really, really pop music, like you can hear in the radio, really uh, commercial pop music. And actually I always felt this kind of music, like jazz or something kind of more serious, like telling some stories. Yeah, I always had that in myself, but nobody actually saw that in me before and Gary was the first one who who said you know that's something that you 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 should do so let's do an album when you can show of your voice and then tell some stories and tell what you've been through and everything so so that's a really important album for me it's 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 like a breakthrough for me and uh, and yeah the each song tells 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 a story about me growing up and me changing and me being you know um, who I am right now, so it's um, yeah, it, it, it changed me. And then the and second album was already 11, easier. <laughs> there yes. are eleven stories on Woman in Black. Yes. And could you tell us one of those stories at least, your favorite ones? For <laughs> no, there's there's not my favorite because they actually these are my stories of my life. But there's like this little uh, that little there's this uh, ballad that uh, is like. Looking back in time, I recall little girl with no fear, not at all, with a light in her eyes, like stars in the night, her clothes. So it like just basically means that I've changed and I was a little girl and now I'm a woman and everything that happened to me just made me who I am right now. And I just have to ask myself if I'm too young to know or I'm already enough if I have enough wisdom to know what's going on. So, so yeah, it's just like um, these, these stories just, just, you know, tell actually the, the, the story of, of, of who I am right now and when I came from, from a totally different background from the... And could you tell us a little background. bit more of your story? Because you were now born in Poland. Yes. So, and then you, but you, you, your first language is Polish. How did it all look like that you ended up in Poland? And being in yeah, Museum. actually, I, I have Polish roots because my grandma is Polish, but uh, my parents, uh, my, my my grandma, uh, my mother is Ukrainian, my dad is Russian, and they're opera singers. They were opera singers, and they came to Poland for like uh, to to theater to work, and they were supposed to stay for a few months, and they stayed for a lot of years. You know, I started to go to kindergarten and all of that, so I I, I adjusted, and I was. 
I kind of felt always like Poland was my first country. And, you know, they, they broke up and, and I left here after many, many years. And uh, actually my grandma is really happy because uh, she, she was Polish. Like, like there is this background of my family that was Polish and just it just came back here to, to the land that I belonged. So that's, that's how she feels. And actually that, that's how I feel. I feel really connected to Poland. And I'm really happy that Poland just greeted me in such a great way because uh, I was not born here, but I already represented Polish, Poland on Eurovision Song Contest and, and stuff like that. Like I, 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 like, I always said that Poland is my first country, and that's how I, how I felt. So uh, actually, yeah, that, that, that's, my, that's my background. It doesn't matter if, like, where you were born, but it, it just the most important thing is like how do you feel and, and, and actually... That's how I feel. I was loved Poland and I live here and I got educated here and everything that I've been through was here. And yeah, and, and, and it's also nice that actually my family came back to Poland because of my grandma who was, was, was Polish. She, she was Polish. She, she, she is still alive. I love her. She's 94 years, but she's still strong and she lives. So, so she, she, she's Polish and she's really happy that actually like um, her blood came back to, to her land. So, so so what kind of languages do you speak? Um, not, not much. No, actually, I, I speak po polsku, rozmawiam, po ruskie rozgawariwo, and uh, also I, I, I speak in English. So these three languages, basically, yes. Absolutely cool and great. Uh, so your album, Women in Black, was first swing jazz thing. 11 tracks on it. Mm -hmm. And can we hear it anyway? You're still performing it? Of course, of course I am. Uh, we just had like, I don't know, a few, few days ago, we had an amazing concert in Philharmonic and Baltic Philharmonic in Poland uh, with my, my, my band, which is an amazing uh, jazz trio. And we performed for, for the whole Philharmonic, right? There's 500 people. And we just, we just played my whole um, jazz album, Woman in Black, jazz album, swing album, Woman in Black, and a few Polish songs and also covers. And it was an amazing concert. So actually, yeah, I'm, I'm still performing with those albums. Of course, I have one album and then the second one, which is totally Polish with Polish poetry. So yeah, I'm, of course, I'm, I'm doing that. That's my whole life. And yeah, I'm performing as much as I can. And, and when can <laughs> the audience of Penn and Daily hear you if they'd like to come to your concert? Yeah, they have to just check on my web page, basically. So, so you know, I had just uh, from time to time, I'm having some concerts in little places or big ones. And uh, I already have some, some new dates in when it comes to next year. So it just you have to write down Facebook, Sasha Strunin, and then you have places and I have an amazing band, jazz band, and actually they're a Grammy award winners, uh, the only one that uh, Polish, the only one. Uh, so uh, jazz, uh, jazz band, which, which, which got um, Grammy uh, with Wodek Pawlik uh, as, as a jazz album. So yeah, and then, then I have such a great opportunity to just work with them and they're playing with me concerts and all of that. So. So yeah, I'm, I'm a really lucky girl, and uh, yeah, and I'm playing concerts. Of course, it's it's not an easy job, of course, because you know that's not a pop music anymore, and it's not something that everybody can can swallow so easily. Uh, but uh, I prefer to not like I prefer quality, not quantity, <laughs> over quantity, obviously. So I prefer to not perform like I don't know each even weekend or something like that. But I prefer to have one concert which would really. Satisfy me because I have people who actually really want to listen to that kind of music and that that really makes me happy To prefer Quality over quantity <laughs> is a good punchline to say and of course if you're a swing fan or a jazz lover Sasha Struni both albums are for you and thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture